Hello everyone, welcome to this course on Solana. As you know, Solana is one of the biggest blockchains in the history of the world. In this lesson, we are going to understand why. So, to start with, we can identify Solana with three functions. First, it's high performance. Let's say high performance here. Next, it's scalability. And finally, it's low transaction cost. Let's say low transaction cost. Now, as I said, these are the three main selling points of Solana. It actually has much more. And also we need to understand how good Solana in this uh, categories because every blockchain claims they are good in these categories. So we are going to have some comparisons in the next page. So here, as you can see, we have our transaction speed. Here is the Ethereum with 20 transactions per second. Then we have Cardano with two transactions per second. And here we have Solana, which is from 2,000 to 3,000 transactions per second. And then we have the transaction finality. For Ethereum, it's approximately 40 minutes. With Cardano, it's between 10 minutes to 60 minutes. For Solana, it's between 21 seconds and 46 seconds. And if we look at the energy efficiency, and as you know, energy efficiency is very important for the blockchains because that's one of the whole reason why the proof of stake and other alternative consensus mechanisms are developed because the Bitcoin, which uses proof of work, was not energy efficient. So it's very important for a blockchain to be energy efficient for it to be scaled and be more sustainable in the future. So for the energy efficiency, when we look at the Ethereum, it's 238 kilowatt per hour. With Cardano, we have 0 0.5, which is a very, very nice improvement. But when we look at Solana, as we can see, it's 0 0.0051, which is much, much more different than the others. So as we can see from here too, with this transaction speed, transaction finality speed, and also its energy efficiency, Solana becomes one of the hottest blockchains, and that's why it's very, very highly ranked and used. Now, if we look at here, we have a little game. I know it's not Call of Duty, but we are going to work with what we have. So in this game, we have our key features of Solana on top, and we have our use cases below. So what we are going to do is, which is very obvious, we are going to match them. So Solana is a very nice blockchain for DeFi, NFTs, and gaming. And it's very usable for decentralized finance because of its high throughput. Let's do this with purple and low latency. With its high throughput with low latency, we can make fast transactions and it makes the trading much more easier. Then we have the NFT section. And for NFTs, it's very important that it's scalable. And also we have the gaming. So we know that games must have to be really, really fast. And it's been proven with the cloud gaming and now we are adapting in on the blockchain. So for this to happen, we need its low transaction cost, high throughput, and also low latency. So as we can see, we have our key features in Solana and we have Solana's use cases. So these use cases don't pop up from nowhere because of its key features. Doing this kind of stuff with its use cases become much more easier. So by looking at here now, I know it's not very clear, but we have a reason for every use case. And since it's planned for this and it's developed for this, Solana actually creates an environment where we can have different kind of applications that can run on the blockchain easily. So thank you very much for this video. And in the next video, we are going to look at the consensus mechanism of Solana, for sure unique than the others. And we are going to look in depth how it works and what it brings to Solana. So again, thank you very much for this video. And I'm going to see you on the next one.